Okay, unfortunately, I need to make a video about a problem with color correcting red footage. Now, here's the thing. I would love to be able to take this footage, plop it on the timeline, and just use the ripple tangent to color correct it. Watch this. Up the uh, saturation a little bit, and the exposure, and the contrast, maybe a bit of a vignette, and we're done. I can't do that anymore because, unfortunately, uh, this is red footage and it needs some fancy pants color correction stuff. And Premiere does not handle this in a way that is easy at all. First of all, there's no shortcut to get into the master clip. That's just one very small problem, but it is a problem. Second of all, so here we have the red source settings. Now, I, it's hard for me to explain just how ludicrously complex this is. What we have to do is change the gamma curve to something. I forget exactly which one. And then also change the color space. I have a preset that does that because I have three A-roll clips here. So let's go see, take a look. I put, labeled it one, okay. So changed it to red, wide, gamut, whatever, and log, whatever, whatever. Here's the problem though, the ISO and the Kelvin and tint numbers which were recorded custom with this clip, uh, have now been set to whatever it is this preset might be, even though the only things that I needed were, uh, were these. So I can try to reset them. So I can click that button. However, let's see. Okay, in this case, it was accurate. If I push as shot, it'll reset everything. However, sometimes when I have clicked these buttons, it goes to 500 and it, 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 uh, it's just completely wrong. So that was a bug. I couldn't show you that right now. So I'll have to click as shot again and then put this on again. Uh, and then click all of these again. Okay, and now we're not even done yet because that was just to get those on. Now that we've uh, used that different gamma curve, we also have to use a LUT at the end here. The only thing that this does is it has this ludicrously complex LUT in it. Out of all of these, oh, kill me. Uh, this is the one, where are we? The, uh oh, this is the one that we need. Okay, now we're back to normal, right? So now you might think, okay, this is where you start from. You just put those both on the master clip. And now when you're color correcting, now you can put you know, color correction on it and do whatever you want. Let's just weigh up the exposure, whatever. No, you cannot. You can't do the color correction on here. You still have to do it on the master clip. So hang on, let's get rid of this. Whoa, where, where the heck am I? What am I looking at? Kill that. You have to do your color correction. Watch this. You have to do it. in between these. It must be done here. And that means I cannot use the ripple tangent because the ripple tangent, not only can it not go to a specific Lumetri color, it can't go to the master clip at all. So I have to open this up and manually change the exposure, change the saturation, change the uh, Let's put a tiny bit of a vignette on there. 0.1 negative. That might be a bit too much. Maybe change the highlights and stuff. Midtones just a smidge. Okay, it's not perfect, but let's just pretend. I don't know, I'm not the great that great at color correction. Let's just pretend this is perfect. Yeah, it's a bit it's a bit much. Okay. Now what I have to do. Click, 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 save preset as red grade. Now that I've created that, uh, I have to find all of these and put, where did it go? Put this on all of them. Okay, now it's on all of them. Actually, uh, I should have only put it on these two. Here we go. Okay, now all my A roll is corrected. <laughs> Now I have to correct my B-roll. So 
Same steps as before. The red, oops. Uh-oh. Where are we? This is MOV footage. This is not red footage at all. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Okay, well, my entire point of recording this was to get some red footage to show you guys. I'm going to have to import some red footage. Okay. What I have to do is, like I said, same steps as before. Master clip, put 111 on it to change those. It resets everything. I hit this, reset, reset, reset. Put that one down. Grab three, put that on there. Grab five, six, put that in the middle. <laughs> and back to the master clip, go here. Saturation. I don't think I need any more saturation on this shot. Exposure. That's too much, actually. Is this out of focus? Okay. Uh, contrast? I don't know. Okay, let's just pretend that that's a perfect grade. Now, like I showed you, <laughs> what I have to do now, click, control, click, click, save preset, call this M cable P roll grade. Take that, apply it to every single other clip, like that. Hmm? Okay, now they're done, but if you'll notice, the grade only really worked for this shot. These other ones are now too dark. So if I wanted to, I could regrade and then like do them for these ones, but not maybe maybe not these ones. The point is when I try to go in here to fix these, because color correction needs to be done per shot, right? When I want to go in here and fix these, I have to go to the master clip, open up this middle one, go in here, and then make the change. I can't do it from the timeline. I have to go into the master clip and the second elementary color. I have to do that every single time. So that's that's what's annoying. Now apparently DaVinci Resolve 14, I haven't messed with it much, but it has really nice color grading options. Uh, it makes it very easy. They've got little modules that all go together. Uh, I wish this was easier in Premiere because this has to be in the middle, but it should effectively be able to be done from the timeline. I don't know how else to explain this, but uh, this has been murdering my productivity, just having to work around all these weird Premiere things. So basically just, I want to be able to do that from the timeline. I want to be able to put, um, you know, put the same settings on all of my red master clips without resetting the Kelvin and Tint and the ISO to the wrong settings. And, uh, I want to be able to use the ripple tangent. If you'll notice, the ripple tangent allows me to go through very quickly and easily. Color grade, one shot at a time. Let's see, let's put the whites down on this one. See the control that I have? This is how color correction should be done. You know, you've got a control surface, you go one shot at a time. One shot at a time. There we go. Looks nice. So, in these cases, it's taking me literally maybe 10 seconds each to grade these shots. Whereas with the red, it's nothing but clicking in submenus. It's absolutely horrifying. Oh, good God. 